Oh, you can see me. Do you like? Yeah. We on? Yeah. All right, guys. Technical difficulties. Let's start this again. So, I am uh, Mr. Crown Royal. I am with Food Talk TV. You are watching Food Talk TV on Friday evening, Thanksgiving after dinner, I guess. Um, what I'm making today is I'm making a uh, ham fried rice with the leftover hams that I have from uh, Thanksgiving. And I'm also going to make a uh, Thanksgiving egg roll, which is going to have... Inviter? Yes, or... inviter. Okay. We good? Here we go. <laughs> okay. We're... All right. Which is going to have turkey. It's going to have your mashed potatoes, leftover green beans. Oh, by the way, all this is leftover. Uh, leftover uh, stuffing. The only thing that I'm going to add to it is just cabbage, just because um, egg rolls usually have cabbage in them. Yeah. So we're going to start by just chopping up the leftover um, turkey. Chop it up just for a little bit. Let me get a glove because I hate getting my hands dirty. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. This is Food Talk TV, and my name is Gluten Free Mama, and this is Jesse. And I need everybody to tap those screens. Tap those screens. Yeah, if you can help us with that, guys, tap that screen. See how far we can get this time around. So again, all I'm going to do is just chop a little bit this uh, turkey leftover turkey from last night does that have the skin on it too yes i like skin my wife doesn't like the skin um and i think my son doesn't like the skin but i like it mm -hmm. sometimes i even put the uh you know the white bones which is the cartilage So that should be good. You said I don't like this game? No. Yeah. I dated the guy that would leave this chick, uh, the skin on the rotisserie chicken and I thought that was correct. Where? Where? All right, where's the cup? Measuring cup for a cup. So the recipe says to do a cup of everything that we're gonna put in there. But since the star of the show is the uh, turkey, I'm going to do two cups. One. And two. So the recipe will be up on Food Talk TV, guys, and on, on the... Uh, on the website, it is going to say one cup, but you can modify it as you want. One cup of mashed potatoes. Ah! You lost me at mashed potatoes. I'm sorry. <laughs> one cup of um, your green bean casserole, which this this green bean was really good this year. Babe, what, what, what would you put in there? It had, it had a bourbon in it. Bourbon, brown sugar. It was really good. You also want to do a cup of. Hi, voiceless guy. Welcome in. Stuffing. And a half a, a cup. I'm sorry, a cup of the um, cabbage. And remember, guys, this is all that was left over from your Thanksgiving dinner. Hello, voiceless guy. If you guys don't know already, we are also a TikTok live agency. And right there we have Voiceless Sky and he is in our live agency. So give him a follow. How you doing, Voiceless? He's hilarious. He is. He is, yeah. My, uh, so let me tell you a story about my son. What was the last live that we were doing? He came in my line, in the live, and my son was like, "Oh my God, is that boys loose?" <laughs> Apparently, uh, all the teenagers know him really well. Everybody loves you. <laughs> yeah. All right. So all I did, guys, is just mix it. Can I have the, the wraps? 
All I did was just mix it like this. You don't need to mix it better than that. That's good enough. We put it to the side. We're going to take out our sheets. Andrew, can you see them on board good? I can see you perfectly fine. Egg roll, uh, egg roll wraps, that's all I got. The regular ones, I just got them from Tom. That, hey, hmm. Could you make like a, 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 like a taquito too? Yeah, like tortillas? Yeah. Of course you can. Yeah. Let me get my uh, water. Orange, welcome in. All right, guys, so I am not an expert at making these things. Like I said, I'm usually outside. My wife is usually inside doing this kind of stuff, baking and frying. I usually do all the grill stuff on the grill. So all we do is just put the stuff in that we mix together. We got to kind of cuff it in here and we fold it in. Fold both sides. All right, and then we just roll it up. At the end, you put some water and you roll it up. There's a simple egg roll. First time making it, by the way. <laughs> mm. I thought you I thought you rolled some earlier. I did. Mm. That was my first time making it. I guess it's the second time, right? I guess. So, I was just practicing. so how does one um, know how to to find the egg roll wraps. So the egg roll wraps, they're in your they're at your local store. I found them at Kroger's, I found them at Tum Thum. Um, if you have an Asian store somewhere near you, you can find even better ones. Because I was looking for the bigger ones. As you can see, this, these are not that big. I wanted my egg rolls to be like jumbo size, like the ones they have at uh, Panda Express. Those big ones, but they didn't have those everywhere I went. That's how I know they have them at those stores because I looked. So what all's in uh, there for those who have who didn't know? Here we go. Our our numbers are picking up. We got a hundred and seventeen people in here. I need everybody to tap those screens, share the live with ten of your friends. So what all's in there? All right. So in this mixture. It's all your Thanksgiving uh, foods that you your leftovers. It's uh, turkey, mashed potatoes, your green bean casserole, your stuffing, and the only thing that we added that we didn't have last night was the uh, cabbage, <laughs> cabbage and carrot mixture. Uh -huh. That's just because that goes with egg rolls, you know. Cass is sending you roses. Thank you, Cass. Appreciate that. Daniel wants to know if you're going to smoke them. No, I'm not going to smoke them today, but hey, if you want to do this, we can we can smoke them. I've never heard of smoking an egg roll. <laughs> hey, you can smoke anything. I know, I like to smoke broccoli. That's crunchy. We can smoke anything. Hey, you didn't catch my joke. I caught it. <laughs> So do you so, put a little bit of water on it at first and then do like no. shapes? No, I don't. Uh, I just put water at the end when I'm going to seal it at the top, just a little V right there and just finish rolling it. Mm -hmm. Some people use egg white, which to me, it seems like water works just the same. It, Cass is an audience, right? Cass, what's the reason that people put uh, the egg white? Instead of just water. I don't know. Maybe it's stickier. Maybe. It's it a nice golden color. But see, you're only putting it right at the edge here, right? Mm -hmm. Just so it can stick. That's why it's egg rolls. I don't know. <laughs> So where's everybody from? And what did you guys uh, put it in the chat? What water, did you guys cook last night? Cass said water is better 
It binds the flower. There you go. And you have a water. For we want to know where everybody's from. Type your state in the comments. We want you to type your state in the comments. Okay. I want to read. I want to give you guys shout out. So let us know where you're from. I'm in Kentucky and he is in Texas. We got New what? York. All right. Sydney is back. What is up, New York? Today, the New York Rangers Alexa, beat the Philadelphia. Stop. We got. I'm Dallas. telling you, Alexa, be listening to everything. Uh, Sydney wants to know what you're making. Sydney, I am making leftover uh, Thanksgiving dinner egg rolls and a ham fried rice with the leftover ham. The we egg rolls have all your leftovers, which in my case, the only things that were left over was the uh, turkey, uh, mashed potatoes, uh, the green bean casserole, and the um, the stuffing. That's what I use. It's this egg is what I wrapper. Like, and I mix it in. And then I put a little bit of cabbage and carrots on to add to that. The carrots and the cabbage is the only thing that wasn't left over from last uh, last night. I just added it because it comes with egg rolls. Tomorrow's a big game. Is just in mix Ohio. it in a bowl. I'm sorry. Tomorrow's a. She said she's from Ohio, and I said tomorrow's yeah. a big game. Dun, oh dun. yeah. It's the Michigan Ohio State game. Shirley Boys Country Cooking is here. What is up, Shirley? Thank you for dropping by. We got Washington here. Uh, come on, people. I want to know where you're all from. We got 105 people in here right now. I need everybody to top those screens. Okay. So where can one find this recipe? So you can find this recipe. It should be up by tomorrow on foodtalktv.com. That is the website that we have. You can also find all the creators that we have. You can find our schedules when we all go live. Uh, we go live every day of the week, different times. And uh, you can uh, find all the recipes, all the recent recipes on there and all the old recipes too. You can also, if you missed us, watch the replay of this on, uh, on uh... YouTube. There you go. I couldn't think of it. You can find the replays on YouTube and uh, Facebook. Neil wants to know what you're making. I am making leftover Thanksgiving uh, egg rolls. Keep changing the name a little bit, but oh, well. I'm using all the leftovers from uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Putting them all in egg roll and an egg roll wrap and uh, making egg rolls out of it. Um, I'm also going to be making a ham fried rice. So Kaz said the egg roll wrappers are made from water and flour. Okay. So I need everybody to tap the screen, share the live with 10 of your friends. We are a group of food content creators. Our website is foodtalktv.com. Swipe right on our Facebook dating profile. You'll see my picture, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna make probably two more of these and then we'll Start making the rest. How are we doing on time? It doesn't matter because we okay. started late. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Really? How did it get egg in it? I don't know. It's just, I don't know why we call anything anything anymore. What was the question? I don't know. <laughs> somebody wants to know. Well, somebody, uh, Okay, so so um, Neil said he'll be right over. All right, come on. Shirley Boys Country Cooking is watching from Knoxville. What's up, Knoxville? 
Your wife said egg roll wrappers. So tell us about yourself. What do you, what, what inspires you to cook? Uh, what inspired me to cook? That I like to taste good food. And uh, people always say that they can do better. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to see if I can do better at what other people do. Um, I do a lot of barbecue. Barbecue is very expensive. It's getting very expensive. And uh, some barbecue, you pay for it, and it's just not worth it. It's really not worth it. The ribs are dry, the brisket's dry, you know, everything they make is, is, is medi mediocre and you're paying quite a bit of money for it. And then you come home and try it and it comes out good and you're like, wow, it's better than the restaurants yeah. sometimes. So, I love food. I like to cook, mostly outside. So, and then I have, I have family. Like to cook, I like to cook for them. I like to make, uh, have gatherings in my house, which lately I haven't. But I like to host, and I like to see smiles on people when they eat my food. I like that too. Even though you know, sometimes I think they lie. So, oh yeah, it's good. I don't know if it is or not, but I don't have too many complaints. My friend likes right. every time I cook for him, and he What's says that? That my. My friend likes every time I cook for him and he says my food's better than restaurant food, so I'll take that as a win. Yeah. I, I don't know. I saw that. Daniel, is he still in the, in the chat? He comes and eat my, he eats my food. Yeah. Let's see, if, let's see if he tells us the truth. Daniel, are you still in there? Yeah. So Jamie said they like, Janie said they like to eat. Sydney wants to know how did egg rolls get to be called egg rolls i have no idea maybe Cass can help us with that one he's the one who asked it okay uh oh Cass, i'm not sure i just eat them Cass. <laughs> lori's in the building i need everybody to tap the screen share the live okay i'm gonna get a plate for these guys really quick Hey, you guys, let's fill the chat with a egg emoji. Since we're doing egg rolls, let's find the egg emoji and let's fill it up with some eggs. Come on, let's fill it up. Egg roll emoji, egg emoji. Okay. Is there any egg rolls or egg roll emojis? There might be one. I don't think so, but there is a bunch of egg emojis. Nice. There's egg emoji. Sydney did an egg emoji. Lynn did an egg emoji. Um, Cass said the original recipe was like an omelet. Forge, Forge found omelet. something. I don't know what that is. It looks like a whistle. We need right, we are, emojis. We are waiting for our oil to get hot, guys. As soon an as egg roll tied. I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys over there to that side. Is, uh, is it ready? I don't. All right. Don't get dizzy on me. Okay. We got all kinds of eggs. Pew, pew. So what I want to know is what did everybody do with their leftovers? What are they soup. cooking? I made a soup. You made a soup with it? Yeah. What about everybody else? Put it in the chat, guys. What kind of soup did you make with it? I got, I got, I got corn, peas, Turkey, carrot, celery, onion. What Her kind of broth did you use? Chicken? Cream of chicken broth? I use cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, and I used 
chicken, I mean, vegetable broth and herbs. Oh, okay. Is it ready, baby? Uh, uh, oil? Daniel made a broccoli casserole of turkey. Huh? Did he? A casserole. It's not ready yet. Well. It, it fisted up a little bit, see? Yeah. Is it ready? Yeah. Ah, I know what everybody's thinking right now is they're like, ooh, ah, ooh. Ooh, ah. Welcome in, Whitney. So we are making Thanksgiving, uh, leftover Thanksgiving dinner uh, egg rolls, guys. Or just keep saying she doesn't have any leftovers. Does that, okay, so someone said, does that mean that her food was that good? That everybody finished it? Or she didn't cook and she went somewhere else. Oh, okay. I don't know. So this, these egg rolls opened up on me. I see that. I guess I didn't use enough water. You said yes for something. She said they went to another house. I need, oh, okay. I need everybody in here to tap the screen. Share the live with 10 of your friends. I'm out of ginger ale. What else? Did anybody say anything else about what they... Uh... Uh, David made a broccoli and turkey casserole. Oh. I was going to make a sandwich, but I was like, you know what? My wife wanted some fried rice. I'm like, let's do a uh, ham fried rice. Speaking of fried rice, let's go ahead and make that, baby. Let's go. How long? All right, guys. So I don't know if you guys knew, but they recommend, and it's better to use day-old fried rice. So don't make it fresh. Just use day-old fried rice. You mean day-old see... white rice? Yeah, my wife is about to make it over there. She is going to put. Well, actually. Can you watch this and I'll put that uh, I'll put that debate? Yeah. She's gonna watch this and I'll do the uh so we got oil in the wok. We'll let it heat up a little bit. There you go. Yeah, go ahead. The egg rolls you have to turn them when they turn golden brown. And just they have to get golden brown on both sides. Mm. So as long as your oil is not too hot, just kind of watch them, maybe two minutes on each side, as long as your oil is not too hot. The one in the, in the, in the yeah, there you go. Wait, keep going on the other one. No. This one? Yeah. Yeah, it's being stubborn. It doesn't want to turn. Yeah, it keeps flipping back the other way. Oh, oh, hold it. <laughs> That's the one that opened up. Cass said you have to use day-old rice because it's not sticky. And it fries better. I like when uh, Cass is in our chat. He tells us all the facts. All the nine chef people around here. Is it all of them? What did Cass do? Cass, what did you do for uh, Thanksgiving? He went live. Did he do a, did he do turkey or ham? What did he do? I don't know. Hi, whatever. Okay. Egg rolls are about ready. A few more seconds. See? Hi, Alicia. They are making turkey leftover egg rolls, and they're about to make ham fried rice. He made cornbread stuffing. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, let me cut up the ham, guys. Should I take us with this? Yeah, I'm gonna, I want to okay. see the ham. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take out. She's gonna go ahead and pull those out. Ready. I'm Looks gonna... like that. That's golden brown. It's ready. Just kind of drain the oil off a little bit, and we're gonna put it on a pan that has a paper towel to absorb the oil. Okay. So this is a nice color. Golden brown. Not burnt because, you yeah. know, I usually burnt things when it comes to oil. <laughs> Just make sure the oil's not too hot. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take you back over here. I'm going to put some ham on the board and cut it. All right. My wife already cleaned the board for me. Here's our ham that we used from last night. What's that? Somebody to tap those screens. Let me chop this up and then you can show them. Mm -hmm. Andrea. Yeah. Do you see my uh my choice of knives from now on? Oh. <laughs> I love this thing. Well, I'm glad you like it. You guys, this is a Tanrin knife, and Tanrin reached out to us one day and sent us all knives, and we sent Tanrin some videos. Yeah. Let me tell you, one of the best gifts I've received from a company. I'm glad you liked yours. I had a different knife. Hi, Advanced. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dwayne is back. What's up, Dwayne? All I'm doing, guys, is making this uh, ham into little cubes. Uh, it's your preference how big, how small you want them on your... Uh, yeah, in your rice. Rice, uh, fried rice, ham fried rice. And this is the ham that we had left over from, the, uh, from Thanksgiving, which was a honey glazed ham that my brother uh, made. I'll make the turkey this year. Usually I'll make the ham. Did he smoke the ham? He did. He smoked it. We pretty much smoke everything. All right, that should be enough to make the fried rice right there. It's about a cup and a half, but I'm not an expert. All right, let's get moved back over there. More? Okay, my wife says she needs more. What did you think he would say, um, Sydney? She said, I'm so glad you said ham. <laughs> what, well, yeah, what else would it be? Or what else do people say it is? I don't know. The rest of this, or is that yeah, good? Okay. I'll put all of it. The devil's fist. What's that? I don't know. Sydney said it's the devil's lettuce. Oh. So, again, guys, you can find this recipe and any recipes on foodtalktv.com. It is our website where we post all our. Um, Recipes, every recipe that we do on live, on Food Talk TV uh, lives, will be up in, uh, on the website the next day. All right, so I'm going to move again. Should I move it on that side or we're good? Sure, first. Oh, she wants me to show the egg rolls, guys. There they go. Nice and brown, baby. We can get into one later. To yeah, later. when we plate it. Yes. Oh, ready. Yeah, let me just tilt this a little higher. Where you want to show we, uh, we'll do it there. We have a good view. We're doing good. I need everybody to please tap the screens, share the live. This is Food Talk TV. We go live every single day. And if you would like to check out our recipes, check them out on foodtalktv.com. All right, guys. So... 
The recipe calls for three eggs. I love eggs in my fried rice. So guess what? I doubled it. I put six eggs. That's a lot of eggs. It is. So all we had in this pan was just the oil on the wok and I put the eggs in here. Paige, can you get the, the rice? How many scoops do we need? The you cups, should. get the cup back there. My wife keeps wanting me to take the eggs out, but I want to do it like this. I watch a lot of cooking shows where they cook fried rice, and I want to try it the way they do it. So now we're going to put the, how many cups of rice, baby? Um, let me see. Ready? Go ahead. One. That's two. Three. That was a small one. Four, maybe six cups of rice. Five, just five. That's a lot of rice, right? That's good. Okay. So we did five cups of rice. The correct measurements will be on the website, guys. Yeah. Um, the sodas. Jay, Jay Leslie said you are talking my language because I love eggs in my fried rice food. He said, I am talking this language when we're talking about what the rice or she said that you're talking her language because she loves fried rice, eggs, and her fried rice. Oh, yeah, that's my kind of person, too. Then, so all I'm doing is just uh, I put the the, uh, the peas and the corn on the side just to heat them up a little bit because we didn't take them out in time for them to thaw out a little bit are you put the stuff cut out the onion? that's what's that are you gonna cut out an onion and put in there no, no onions. I don't put onions in mine. Green, onions, yeah. green yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. We do put green onions. Okay, I'm gonna add the dressing oil. I'm just mixing for my wife. My wife is gonna take over on how to make the rest of this. I just wanted to do the uh, eggs. <laughs> so she is putting, what are you putting, baby? Uh, one tablespoon of sesame oil. One tablespoon of sesame oil. You have to be careful too of sesame oil. It has turned, it, sesame has turned into the number three allergen. Really? Yes. Yeah. I didn't know that. And my kid is very allergic to things. What did she, in the say? she said that it has turned into the uh, top number three, three. most allergic. For anaphylactic. Yeah. About four tablespoons of soy sauce, depends on how dark you like it. So she put uh, sesame oil and now she's putting soy sauce. I think so. that's good. Okay, it mixes it. And then at the end, you put butter, and that makes it really good. You mix it in oil. I'm gonna put salt and pepper. Go ahead. She's gonna put some salt and pepper. I think I made too much, guys. What do y'all think? Okay. You gotta add ham to it. Yeah, I know. We still gotta add the ham. The ham and the uh, green onions. And, then the, the last you put butter. and at the end, you put the butter. Put the butter in it? Yeah. That, yeah. Makes it, that makes it what, baby? That makes it very, um, I don't know how to say it. It just gives it like an extra good flavor. She says that gives it an extra good flavor is what, it said, what she said. <laughs> you got two people wanting a bowl. 
Nice. I want a bowl too. Ready for the ham? Yes. Let's put the ham in. Okay. So we're putting the ham in, which uh, which what? That's like two cups. Two cups of ham. Uh, maybe we might not put it all, but we cut it up anyway. Uh, it's probably like uh, two cups. Should we add some more? Should we put it all? Up to you. This is your rice. Let's put it all. There. You got ham. Spam, spam those ham emojis, guys. We have ham emojis. Um, I'm sure there's a little piggy there somewhere. <laughs> Do we? I don't know. I'm just writing the word ham. Ham. I'm typing ham. That's what I'm talking about. How many people we got in here? We have 126. I need 126. all 126 of you to tap this is, the, this is the ham we used last night for Thanksgiving. Yeah. So if you just joined us, guys, my name is Mr. Crown Royal. It is Mr. Underscore Crown Royal Underscore if you want to follow me. I do a lot of uh, grilling stuff. I like to smoke a lot. And every once in a while, I'm in the kitchen with my wife. Um, we are Food Talk TV. We are a group of creators. We create content on our own channels and for Food Talk TV. Um, we have a website. It's foodtalktv.com. If you guys want to go in there and look at any of the recipes that we have created, they will be on there. Uh, it also gives you a schedule of when all the uh, our creators are going on on live. I do and know. You miss, I go I, ahead. I do know that the ham and sesame and um, soy sauce have a lot of salt in it, yeah, but they, do. they don't have enough because, like, even when you go to a, like a hibachi grill, they always put more on. Yeah, yeah I didn't put that much. Okay, I think we're ready for the butter. Put the butter and the green onions. Okay. okay. So I'm going to add two um, pats of butter just to the sides, and then we're going to mix that in. Don't tell her I added three. Oops. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. It's okay. And then we're going to add the green onions at the end. I love green onions, and then it should be ready. I prefer green onions over regular onions. Me too. Yeah. I love regular onions. Okay. I eat them raw. The butter's melting. I'm going to mix it in. I, uh, I eat them raw. Not by themselves, though. I always have to have something to go with them. Jeanette is in the building. Jeanette. We love Jeanette. For you guys that just joined, again, we made and we are making, we made some uh, Thanksgiving dinner egg rolls. And then we're making a ham fried rice. Everything that we used is just the leftovers from Thanksgiving dinner last night. Okay, I have the green onions. Uh, this is about one whole bunch. You don't have to add all of it, just however much you want. Ready? It's so pretty. I like green. I think it gives a nice color. It does. And flavor. I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add some more, give it more color. I think that's good. Mix it up a little bit and it's almost ready. Daniel, Daniel wants to come over. <laughs> come on, Daniel. We got plenty and no one's home. Everybody's gone. So we got plenty of food, I more? I? but we're gonna use it for the garnish. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, so this should be ready. You wanna try it or you wanna wait? No, we'll wait. We'll okay. take a bite at the end. Okay. And you gonna make your sauce? Okay. Yes. The fried rice is ready. So I'm gonna turn off the heat so it doesn't burn the rice. All right, here we go, I need guys. A lot of rice yeah, you need what? Rice. That's like a meal all by itself. Yes. It is. Yes. With the egg roll on the side. <laughs> What are we looking at? We are looking at my board. Mm -hmm. So, cranberry. We're going to make a cranberry sauce. And this is just a cranberry sauce 
that I just came up with. To dip eggs. To, all right. So, what what do you usually get with egg rolls? We use what? I don't know. Chili sauce, right? Chili and oil, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We also use the sweet chili sauce. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to mix it all together. To cut some of that sweetness, I'm going to put some Dijon mustard in there. What is that, Andrea? Where can one find the recipe for the sauce? Uh, the recipe for the sauce for um, everything else. Let me. I always forget to put it on silent. I apologize, guys. Um, the recipe for the sauce, the recipe for the egg rolls, the recipe for fried the fried rice will be on foodtalktv.com, guys. Oh, Food right. Talk TV. So, we will put our cranberry. Yes, it's from a can. We can tell. <laughs> it's the jelly cranberry. It's famous. It's the cranberry uh, fork. All right, you want to measure this for me, baby? Over here, we're going to do a uh, tablespoon. We're going to do a tablespoon, okay? And this is all depends on how hot you want it, guys, okay? The hot oil that you're going to use, I'm using a tablespoon. Table or tea? I'm, uh, no, a tablespoon. tablespoon. Yeah, I like a little spicy. I like it spicy. There you go. Okay. All right, tablespoon of that. We're going to do a tablespoon of the chili, the, the sweet, sweet chili, chili sauce. And we're going to do a teaspoon. Well, once that goes down. Thick. Yeah, it's a little thick. I like it thick. Yeah, me too. And then we're going to do a teaspoon of Dijon mustard just to cut some of that sweetness off. What? All right, and then we mix that. Remember, um, it will be a little like, spicy. I don't like my sauces like super watery. Uh huh. I like them thick. Yo, this is gonna be thick. Look at that. Keep moving the light over here. You might need to make that one a little watery though. Yeah. A little too thick to dip. This is perfect. We might put a little bit of the oil from the actual uh, chilies. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. Isn't it too spicy? That's good. You wanna add like vinegar or something or no oil? No. I added soy sauce earlier and it may it changed the actual um, flavor of it a lot, so I don't want to add soy sauce again. It tasted really good just like this. It's definitely, it's definitely thinned out. What's that? How's that ending? Looks good, yeah. Looks good? All right. So again, guys, this is just cranberry sauce that I'm using to dip my egg rolls in. Um, in it is um, hot oil, the chili hot oil, the sweet and sour sauce, and our canned cranberry. There you go. Plate it? Yes, okay. we are going to plate it. What if you put it in the chopper? Lisa? Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Where is. Oh, I need everybody to tap the screen, share the live of 10 of your friends. We are at 10K likes. 
Yeah. You can find all of our recipes on foodtalktv.com. And my name is Andrea, and this is Jesse, and he is our newest food creator. All right, guys. So one more thing that we're going to make is our drink. We're also going to make a drink to go along with this. Let me plate this real quick, and then we can... Uh, Do our drink. Top the screen, top the screen, top the screen. Ham fried rice, ham fried rice. This is our ham rice, guys, fried rice that we made with our leftover ham. You don't need a boring ham sandwich. You need ham fried rice. Yes. All right, my wife's gonna put the egg rolls on there. The egg rolls are uh, Thanksgiving dinner leftover egg rolls. So everything that you have on your uh, I'm gonna do this one. The leftovers. Yeah, everything that you have, all your leftovers that you have, is what goes into your uh, egg rolls, guys. I sent my dad out to eat, even though I made the Let me garnish it with a bit of butter. That's beautiful. Let me garnish it with a little bit of fresh green onion. On top. All right. So there it is, guys. How does that look? We got 11K likes, guys. Let's see if we can get some more so we can make that drink. So we got our egg rolls. Our egg rolls have mashed potatoes, uh, green bean casserole, your stuffing, and your turkey. Is what goes on your egg rolls. Then we have our ham fried rice, which we have our leftover ham. Uh, uh, ham. Then we made a dipping sauce from our leftover cranberry. And to that, we added uh, sweet chili sauce and the hot oil chili. All right. Now I'm going to take you over to make a drink. Daniel will deliver when we have any Do you? So take a guess what we're going to make, guys. We're going to make a salted caramel drink. Baby, what's the name of it you call this? Uh, it's called a... Crown Royal Salted Caramel. Crown Royal Salted Caramel. And of course, can you see that? Oh, it's a little dark in this room. See that Crown Royal glass right there? This right here. So, my wife is making it. My wife used to be a bartender. So we let her uh, do the drinks for us. She put ice in a cup. This is the Crown Royal Salted Caramel, freshly out of the package. Yeah, uh, I went to my bar to look to st and get my bottle. So, more or less, I'm going to show you my bar. I went to my bar to get from my bottle, and we didn't have any uh, salted caramel. We finished it. Go back. Go back. I want to see something. Okay. Go up at the top. Other corner. Oh, look at that green thing. Look at the green thing. What is that in the middle with the feather? Oh. <laughs> oh that was for Mardi Gras. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it was Mardi Gras. Behind it is the, uh, it's just a Crown Royal bottle of Miss, of um, Cowboys Edition. I have two of them, one year and then that's the following year back there. And then someone bedazzled a bottle of Patron for us. You ready? Mm. And uh, this thing turns on, by the way. I just I don't have it on. Let's see if I can turn it on while my wife does this uh, drink. Do it right here, baby, so they can see. Okay. So um, I'm gonna make it in the mixer and then put it in the cups, the glasses. I'm gonna do a big shot or one and a quarter ounce of the salted caramel Crown Royal. Can you see that? Yes. So I'm gonna make it two for the two drinks. So that's about two shots of Crown Royal. Two shots, two of the big shots, yes. And then um, this is gonna have eggnog. So we have actually eggnog from the, um, we got some eggnog. Because it was, it was, you know, it's almost Christmas, so we got that. And you need 4.5 ounces of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do about four or five big shots of that. So each one is like 1.4 ounce, one and a quarter ounce. So I'm going to do about four of those. It's really thick. Hopefully it fits. If not, two, three, four. I'm going to do one more. There. Jeanette. <laughs> we'll just finish it off because it's almost no, done. No, that's not, that's not. You sure? Okay. Well, I'm, making, I'm doubling it for two. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... and you put some more crown. No, because that, that, that's double the crown. Oh, okay. I can if you want, though. You guys better not drive tonight if you're doubling the crown. <laughs> no, we're done going places. Yeah, we did okay, everything this morning. Okay, now we need an ounce of caramel. So, this is where the caramel comes in. Well, also, this has caramel. But this has actually one ounce of caramel. So I'm going to add, um, you can add more or less if you want. So I'm thinking it's just one big shot, right? Do you want it really sweet or no? No, 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 okay. no, not that sweet. Yeah, he doesn't want it too sweet. So... That's enough, that's enough. Okay, and we're gonna add it in here. It's really I thick. Didn't. Then you're gonna shake it up. So I'm gonna shake it and then I'm gonna pour it in here and then we have a little topping on top. I'm gonna shake it. It should look like a nice caramel color. This is the topping that we're using, guys. Pumpkin spice. We're supposed to use nutmeg, but I could not find nutmeg. Yeah. And that this is a good alternative because it has nutmeg and cinnamon and allspice. So I think this will work. Okay. And a lot of people had this from yesterday, right? Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> shake that booty. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> okay, I think it's almost ready. The caramel's really thick. Okay, so I'm gonna open this, and it has like a little um, strainer. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the cups. Oh, here, pour the next one. Pour it in right here. And then this one. Okay. Very creamy. Yes. And then we're gonna add. Um, you want to put some more crown in there? No. Okay. I'm going to add like a, just a pinch uh, of um, a sprinkle of the pumpkin pie spice or nutmeg, but I'm using this on top. Ta. Let's go. Let's go over there. Mm -hmm. okay. You want to mix it or no? Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's go to the light. Mm -hmm. I need to get better lights over there, huh? Get rid of this. You can order them on Amazon. Yep. All right, so there it is. What do you guys think? I like it. <laughs> Let's try it. I am gonna. Can you stand right here? I want to make sure. Use your egg roll. I mean, you should have six. See you try it. Don't do that plate because that's your decorative plate. Eat it on a different one. Okay. Put uh, put it on another plate, babe. Okay. Yeah, because that's your decorative plate. She made it so pretty for your picture. You don't want to run your picture, huh? A small one then? Okay. Yeah, small one. Doesn't matter. 
We'll use a small version of that plate. Can you put some on there. Can you guys see me good? Should I tilt the camera a little bit higher or are we good? A little lower, I can't see. Oh, wait, yeah, no way I can see you. Okay. Your ass is in the, in the, in the thingy. What? Maybe you should tilt it a little bit, huh? Tilt it up or down? Oh. Okay, but give it, stand right there so I can see. Tilt it up or down. Uh... Up, 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 up and away. Here you go. I'm a lot taller than my wife. I am short. <laughs> Are we good? We're great. All right, so here's my uh, second small plate just to try. Again, guys, so we have our ham, leftover ham fried rice, which the ham is the leftover from uh, Thanksgiving. We have our egg roll, which inside our egg roll, we have, let me cut it. Where's the a oh, knife? That egg roll is not as hot as that fried rice. That fried rice looks like it's smoking hot. Yeah. Be careful. So, can we see that? No, but okay. There. Yeah. There. <laughs> so, inside our egg roll, there is turkey, leftover turkey, uh, mashed potatoes, the green bean casserole, and the stuffing. And I also made a little sauce with cranberry, chili, uh, hot oil. Sweet chili oil. Sweet chili oil. Hot chili oil. And yeah, and the and the sweet chili sauce mm -hmm. with the leftover and the cranberry. Dijon mustard. Yeah, oh yeah, and Dijon mustard. It's kind of like a relish, in a way. There it is. Let's try that. Smells really good. Hmm. That sauce makes it. Does it taste like Thanksgiving? Tastes like Thanksgiving in one bite. <laughs> what it tastes like? Mm, very good. You get that kick of the sauce. Let's try the fried rice, guys. Get some of that ham. Oh, yeah. Does it taste like it tastes as good as takeout? This tastes better than takeout. <laughs> Now I want to order Chinese. Don't order it. Make it. It's good. Eh. I'm going to have to tell my date tomorrow to take me to Japanese food. I'm going to have some fried rice, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then the drink. The crab oil salt. Oh, that's good. And now here is our drink, guys, which is... Crab oil salted caramel. Go ahead, tell them. The Crown Royal Salted Caramel. With? Uh, Crown Royal Salted Caramel, eggnog, caramel sauce, and a little bit of nutmeg or um, pumpkin pie spice on top. Salud. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> recipe. He's thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to check it. <laughs> when stuff is good, it's good. Is it strong? No. That's good. Okay. Those are really good, guys. It's gone. <laughs> Again, this recipe will be up on foodtalktv.com. Uh, this recipe and any recipes. And if you joined us late and you want to see the, the whole process, you can uh, visit our YouTube page or, or Facebook and watch replays of all the shows that we have uh, got I've done live. That's good. Again, I'm Mr. Crown Royal. You can follow me, uh, Mr. Underscore Crown Royal Underscore 78. And in my box is Andrea, Gluten Free Mama. Anything else, Andrea? Nope. I'll call you after. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. And happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? <laughs> After Thanksgiving. <laughs>